It all comes down to them, people you'll probably never meet, neighborhoods you may never cross, problems you may never face. And yet, somehow you know it's your opportunity, a shared responsibility. Here's the chance to do what really matters. We truly are reflecting the values, the dreams, the passions of a community. Because United Way at the end of the day is a reflection of a community. Like any good idea, it starts with a vision, a real passion for change. No child grows up wanting to be a failure. Every child wants to succeed. Read to Succeed is a program that helps at-risk children be able to go to school and keep up with their peers and to keep up with more well-to-do students. By the age of four, children from middle and upper income families have heard about 45 million words, while at-risk children have heard but a quarter of that. Since vocabulary is linked to later reading abilities, they are behind before they even start. Read to Succeed goes beyond books, providing a total experience that engages the mind. Read to Succeed provides resources, uh, books, the know-how, uh, the discipline to help not only the child be successful, but the parent to have a positive attitude towards helping the child become successful. Read to Succeed is just one example how United Way, with its unique partnerships and with your help and generosity, is making a real impact for today and tomorrow, simply doing what matters. What happens through a family resource center is that you're involving all parts, all segments of the community. People become empowered when they believe they can change the lives of people within a community. At the heart of the Family Resource Center concept is a resident-driven advisory council. Together with health and human services professionals, neighborhood businesses, faith-based organizations, public officials and volunteers, the advisory councils are able to discover the neighborhood's strengths while getting at the core of its challenges. Together, we are able to provide a one-stop source for health and human services for some of Nashville's most vulnerable citizens. As a child growing up in North Nashville in a housing development that was uh, just across the street from Bethlehem Centers, I know all too well what a center like that can mean in a child's life. Things could have been totally different. I could have been a statistic. The power of community, serving in a united way, doing what matters. 211, this is Jennifer, how may I help you? Don't say, say, como puede ayudarle? 211, this is Melissa, how can I help you? Well, from time to time, we can all encounter things in our lives that put an unexpected bump in the road for us. 211 makes it exceptionally easy for you to be connected quickly and efficiently to the people who might be able to help you in your greatest moment of need. Studies show that people seeking help, on average, have to call seven to eight numbers to make the right connection. Today, one simple call removes the many barriers to asking for help. When you call 211, you won't get a tape recording. Uh, you won't get a computer-generated menu of services to select for them. You'll get a live person who cares about what you need and can get you the help that you need. Partnering with a local agency, in just the first seven months of operation alone, and with very little promotion, 211 handled over 33,000 calls. All this on a 24-7, 365 basis. And we've seen that we are positively touching people, one by one, right here in our own community. For every volunteer, no matter what role they have, or how big or small their gift is, when all of that comes together, and I would say when it comes together in a united way, uh, it has an incredibly powerful impact. And the amazing thing is, is that these kids that are getting educated are going to be successful in life. And if you're investing in the child on the front end, rather than having to deal with a broken individual on the back end. What you do is definitely making a difference. 
and you can look back at a community and see the change. There's always been more need than there have been dollars to support the need. Uh, this year we have an opportunity to bridge that gap. Today we thank you, each and every one of you, for doing what matters.